game console repairs here we have a PlayStation 3 Slim 250 gig model after about uh, 20 to 30 minutes of any activity fan makes this loud excessive noise I don't know if you can hear it um, so if you can hear it that's the sound it makes and it gets very annoying if you're watching a movie or playing any game so what we'll be doing uh, We'll be opening up our PS3 Slim. Uh, we'll be replacing the old fan with a new one, and we'll also be replacing the old thermal compound with new thermal compound. These are the tools required in order to carry your fan and thermal compound replacement. In order to open up your PS3, you need small Phillips number zero, Phillips number one, Phillips number two screw bit or a screwdriver. You need a Torx T8 screw bit or screwdriver, and you need a small Phillips flathead screwdriver. Uh, in order to clean up the old thermal compound from the BGA chipsets, you need a superpile alcohol, cotton balls and Q-tips. When you open up your PS3 console, sometimes there's a lot of dust in there, best is to use these cleaning brushes and clean up the dust. Uh, in order to replace the old thermal compound with the new one, we'll be using Arctic Silver 5. And obviously you need a brand new fan as well. Let's open up your PS3. Step 1, flip it over. Take out all these, take out these one, two, three rubber pads and then use your small Phillips flathead screwdriver and take out these plastic one, two, three and then there is one and another warranty sticker. Peel out the sticker, remove all these Phillips screws. Next, uh, we'll be removing the hard drive, so simply take out this clip and there is a blue Phillips screw in there, simply take it out. Next, slide this cover and take out the hard drive. Next, we'll be removing these three torque screws. Flip it over, uh, we are now able to lift up our top cover. So simply pull it, gently pull it up. Uh, there's a bit of a dust, let's clean up the dust. Next, we'll be removing the power supply, so take out these two cables. And remove the two screws. Simply pull out the power supply. Next, we'll be removing the Blu-ray drive. In order to remove the Blu-ray drive, uh, unplug this ribbon cable and the black screw. Simply lift it up, remove the power reset switchboard, remove these cables and take out the power cable and your blue air drive is separated. Uh, once again clean up this dust. Try your best to clean up uh, as much as you can. Next, let's move on. Uh, with removing the remaining components so let's remove our power reset switchboard peel off this and simply pull out the cable this comes off next uh, let's remove these uh, blu-ray drive and the power cable power supply cable so take up the blu-ray and the power cable next uh, we'll be removing the Wi-Fi antenna cables in order to do that you need to take out these two screws here so simply remove these two screws simply put it out and unplug from here so the white one first and then the black one comes off 
next when we're removing our fan take these two screws off and peel off the sticker and move the cable fan comes off next um, we need to remove the board from the bottom tray in order to do that we need to remove these two silver screws and three black Phillips screws so one two and three so remove all these screws next we are now able to lift up our uh, motherboard and from the bottom tray simply no need to remove this simply slot it out and bottom tray it's a motherboard assembly next we need to remove this metal plate and this plate simply flip it over so we'll be removing all these screws one two it's marked here actually two three four five screws and these two metal bars and four screws here so take off all these screws simply lift this up so this plate comes off flip it over and we're now able to simply pull it out so that's our PSD slim motherboard these are the tools required uh, to clean up the old thermal compound from the BGA chipsets you need a super bad alcohol cotton balls and some q-tips Okay, let's clean it up. Clean up with isopropyl alcohol. Okay, wait 5 to 10 minutes. In the meantime, while the board is drying up, uh, let's clean up the residue from the fan. All done. These are the tools required to apply the new thermal compound. We'll be using Arctic Silver 5, scrape tool. If you don't have a scrape tool, don't you worry about it. You can pretty much use any thick plastic card or a business card. Let's apply the Arctic Silver 5. Now just even and distribute it. All done. Let's put our PS3 motherboard back in the PS3 system along with the new fan. Step 1 Grab your bottom plate and simply align these two with this and slide the motherboard in. Next Grab your bottom plate and place it in.
Next we'll be placing all these screws, two metal bars here along with the four screws. Next, before placing uh, the motherboard back in the bottom tray, uh, if there's a lot of dust in there, best is to clean it up. Once all clean, um, let's place our motherboard back in the bottom tray. Simply move this and slide it in. Uh, next, let's Put the blue uh, Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi antenna cables. So the black one first, and the white one over here. White one first, and the black one. Place the two silver screws. Place the fan. And simply route the cable through here. And put in this connector. Place the two fan screws, the black screws. Um, we'll be placing these panel screws, so three black Phillips screws and two silver screws here. Next, let's put the power supply cable in the Blu-ray cable. Grab your power reset switchboard, simply place the cable in the connector. Off. Next. Grab your Blu-ray drive, slot it in there, align it, place your power reset switchboard. Plug in the power cable, connect the blue drive cable, place the black screw here. Next, let's place your power supply. Simply align these two metal bars with these two holes. Then place the cables and place the two screws. Let's place the hard drive. Simply slide it in. Slide the hard drive cover and put back the blue screw let's place a top cover simply align these three with these three clips here and place all these flip screws Put back all these plastic clips and the uh, and the rubber bands. Place a three dogs screw here. All done. Thanks for watching the videos. Please go to gc-repairs.com 
to purchase all the tools and accessories you need. Thank you.